reminding me, Caroline, in case you don't know who I am, I have cerebral palsy and I'm out of it. <laughs> Recently, in the past week, I only did two days so far, so I'm slowly building it back up to fitness. This corner is my little gym center at home. In my office, um, I do want to go back to the gym soon but right now I'm doing it here at home slowly building up the routine before I go back um my back is sore so I'm doing it like body weight and some resistance workout not a whole lot of weight um, because I don't want to hurt myself again. So, this group that I'm part of has been asking me questions about what kind of equipment I use at home and things like that. I do want to let you know I am not a certified trainer. I am not a certified nutritionist, nothing. This is based on my experience with cerebral palsy. That's it. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about how I started working out. I started at home. Using body weight. That's it. And I follow a fitness workout plan called Bikini Body Mommy. She has a free 90 day workout on YouTube. She has an app now. I've been following her for the last 10 years or more. Um, so I started out at body weight, you know, squat with my weight, push up, running, have a point run from A to B, run, run back and forth in my yard, um, walking. There were so many different things that you can do with your body. And that's how I started out back in 2014, 2014, 2013, right around that time. I was overweight to the point that people were asking me, are you pregnant and all this stuff. So, fast forward to ten, nine years later. Well, through the nine years, I've been up and down, up and down. So, I was not perfect. I had my moment where I stopped and did nothing for a while and then I went back and back and forth, back and forth. It was hard. So back forward to the last four years. Four years ago, I really got in, well, no, was it four years ago or three? 
three years ago, something like between three to four years ago, I started my journey of fitness in the gym. And I fell in love with it again. Weight training is my thing. I love weight training. So I got back into it. Went regularly. I thought it was three days a week. Then went to four days, five days, up to six days a week. And I made sure that I had one day off and did nothing. I was doing fantastic. I was losing the weight, I was taking the right vitamins, the right thing to help manage my nutrition, food, flour, nutrition. Um, I discovered things about my health along the way. And I don't think I'll share that in another video. So, today, I'm back at it again. This coming week, I will be trying to do three days of workout this week. Last week for today. This week, this coming week, I'm going to try three days. See how my back can handle that. Alright, we're still pausing. I wish I had a treadmill, but unfortunately I don't have enough room for that and I have an opportunity to buy this bike off of the front for my cardio. I'm going up with cerebral palsy, bike riding with a huge benefit for me. It strengthened my life muscle and everything and helped me with my back. So that's one of the big reasons why I decided to go for a stationary back this. So that's my cardio for at home. Then, why am I like watching? Anyway, then my body weight started to be too easy for me. I needed to add weight to work out. Funny thing, I didn't have dumbbell. I didn't have weight, nothing. So I started out, I went to a public park. Don't do this, I don't think you're supposed to, but that's what I did. Um, I went to a public park that had pebbles. I filled them up in bottles and then like water bottle, empty water bottle. And I used that as a weight. And then I used gallons of water, pebbles, um, and then I down online on marketplace for weight. It's got stuff all over it. Um, I'll tell you all about this in a bit. I use this for my squat. I have used the plate for squat squat or crunches and then I bought sandbags and then the next thing happened I started going to gym. I kept all my equipment. I 
kept it. And then I went to the gym using the machine because I needed spotted and things like that. I didn't have a person to work out, buddy. I prefer to do by myself most of the time. Occasionally I want buddy to go with, but I like going there most of the time. And then COVID happened, shut down. Everything shut down and I was like, what am I gonna do? This is the best thing I could lose during COVID other than my family, you know? So I was doing research, research, trying to figure out how can I keep working out other than using my body weight. I mean, body weight using all the time if you want, but I wanted more talented. First thing I bought, band for squat and kits and things like that. This is not my personal favorite because it rolls up on me. I don't know if it's because the material or if it just needs so eventually I bought this kind of band. And then I bought this kind of band. This you can do pull, row, pull, um, chest press thing. It's really nice to have. This is my favorite. I had this all the time. I recently bought this for my door that had that strap to do more things. And this, other than this band and this big purple band, the purple one, I used to help me stretch it. This, I used to help me with my squat and things like that. These So just more band. I put my home workout. If I can't make it to the gym or I want to do resistant workout, this is what I use. This is what I use. Okay, now anyone use the resistant band. For people with cerebral palsy, the grip for me was a bit challenging. I tried to use my weight gloves. I didn't like how it feel. It wasn't, I didn't feel that I had the right grip on it. So, I went and looked for a full glove. And I end up buying a baseball glove. And it helped me a lot with the resistance of holding it. So this is my favorite thing to have with my resistant band. This is for the, the anchor to put the 
the bath too. So that's why I have it, but I just bought one that strap on the door. So I like that. Um, I do not like scales because as a woman, I always go up and down. So I ignore the weight. I used to do so. I'm like looking for something that I want. So I used to use tape measurement. I felt like I never got accurate because I was doing it myself. Some dangerous. So I th last year I. Th Smart tape measure, and I can put it on next to myself and show show me the measurement stuff. I go based on measurement when I work out instead of weight because I feel. That weight is not a hundred percent accurate because you know every month women go through the cycle and they get bloated and, and all that stuff. So I just go based on my measurement and I take picture of myself before and after date. Like I used to take a picture every fifteen days. And then it became a big map to compare the different. If you go to my Instagram, you'll see a bunch. So that's how I'll notice my different. So this is my at home gym stuff. I am excited to share. I'll probably do some short video to show you how I do certain things with my workout with several policy. So I'm excited to share that with you all. So if you have any questions or you're curious, you can leave a comment below or go to my Instagram and Find a picture and leave a comment there if you want. Thank you for watching. Love you.